and 7 News always investigating. And with exactly two weeks before Election Day, we are putting to the test an ad from one of the tightest races here in Colorado. 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger is live. And Marshall, Joe Coors is attacking Ed Perlmutter in this ad. Yeah, we've seen a few of these stick figure ads. And while they may be visually fun, how accurate are they? Congressman Ed Perlmutter knows how to work the system. Again, Congressman Perlmutter added special wording into a bill at the last minute, giving taxpayer guarantees to banks who make loans for solar panels. This is mostly true. The special wording referred to is an amendment by Representative Perlmutter. This is back in May 2009. That was more than a month before the bill was actually voted on. But those changes proposed by Perlmutter weren't added to the bill until the same day it was voted on and passed by the House. However, it died in the Senate. It is not a law. But here's the rest of the story. It turns out Congressman Perlmutter was a major stockholder in one of those banks. While it's true he had stock in a bank, the claim is a bit misleading. 7 News checked the financial disclosures submitted by Perlmutter. The documents show he was part of a trust that included the New Resource Bank, a green bank that may have benefited from the legislation had it passed. One of those trusts had a year-end value in the range of $1,000 to $15,000. No wonder banking special interests have given Perlmutter a quarter of a million dollars. Based on the wording of this claim, it's misleading. We checked the campaign contributions for Representative Perlmutter under the category commercial banks, and we went from 2008 to 2012. And when you add up all of these totals over the year, you get to that quarter million dollars. However, that includes political action committees, the quote unquote special interest, and it also includes individuals who have to mark down that they work at banks. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. And stay with 7 News for complete coverage of Democracy 2012. Our previous Truth Tracker reports are available on the DenverChannel.com. And we'll have more from the president's visit tomorrow throughout the day here on 7 News.